zero degrees longitude, zero degrees latitude. The center of the earth, some say. For Ghana, it is. They found oil here. In the same place, this father of three has paddled out to go fishing every day for 20 years. My name is Emmanuel Aqua. I come from Cape Three Point. In the beginning, I'm a fisherman. But Emmanuel needs to cast his nets farther and more often now. <laughs> Despite pulling more net, he says there are fewer fish and therefore less money. Now you are not getting fish. When you go deep sea, you are not getting it. Unless you have to go to the place where the light is. But you cannot go because of the instruction. Emmanuel thinks the oil rigs have caused his daily catch to shrink. But at the same time, he hopes the oil rigs succeed so he can get a new job. His hope is not unfounded. Ghana's Jubilee oil field, discovered in 2007, is large when compared to other new fields. It is estimated to hold nearly 2 billion barrels of the best oil. And at current prices, it represents enough money to buy every product and service that Ghana sells over 10 years. Each major oil discovery in Ghana boosts both hopes and expectations for better jobs, better roads, and simply lower prices. The challenge now, though, is reaching and communicating to Ghanaians on which of those hopes are practical and which ones are not. Jubilee is expected to begin producing later this year, and one of the site owners projects they'll be able to create around three or 400 jobs. Perhaps not as much, though, as many Ghanaians expect. The benefits of this one field have been overblown. The government is trying to ratchet back those expectations. People are expecting benefits this week, this month, this year. For Emmanuel, it's this October. If he doesn't get a job with the rig by then, he has to find work in the city and leave his family behind. They say they will give us a good water and a good education. Our uh, lorry capitation road. And they even um, uh, money that they will give it to the community so that because of the oil. The message the oil companies and government are now trying to bring to people like Emmanuel is this. Maybe they won't have a job directly with an oil company, but they will see the benefits in their everyday lives. Better roads. They can get to market. They can go see their grandmother. It won't take 12 hours to get there, it'll take two. For now, it's still all about fish. Boats go out and come back every day. They smoke the fish to sell neighboring areas or fry them to eat later. But with fewer fish coming back, this way of life is fading, while the new oil field offers hope for a new job and for Emmanuel, money to do things like rebuild his grandparents' home so his family of five can move out of this one-room house. And for now, all he can do is wait in the town that is closest to a fortune, yet at least right now, is far away from its benefits. Richard Louis, CNN, Cape Three Points, Ghana.